I think it's going to be a nice looking beige color. Look at a little beige. Yeah. Hello and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Manandabia and we are in this video going to be trying out a bunch of new products. I actually don't know what I'm going to use quite yet because what I have in front of me is a container of new products that I just want to try over time. I have a chest of drawers. It's the Ikea 9 Alex drawers full of other products that I want to try. But then I have some in here that I want more immediate want to try products. So I'm going to just be digging in there for today's video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have also joined my text community. Sign up for exclusives, pop-ups, you never know. One-on-one -on -one connection with your girl. Also lives, just things, you know? Make sure you sign up, it's free. Anyone can join. One of the things that I'm gonna try out today is the Lip Bar Just a Tint. Well, they sent me a few of these a while ago. This is the shade Cocoa Bean. They had sent me two or three other colors that were not my, oh, the mailman. Oh man, the post, it's a woman, excuse me. Mailman is just the easiest thing that comes to my mind. I was running out to give her my prepackaged labeled giveaway boxes, which I do randomly either in my text community or here. Anyway, let's do this. So yeah, they sent this a while ago. This has hyaluronic acid and SPF 11 in it. And one thing I want you to know about foundations is don't rely on that for your sun protection. It's nice, it's a bonus for sure, but don't rely on it for your sun protection. Make sure you are wearing an SPF. Today, I'm wearing the Shiseido Clear Stick SPF 50, which I love. I also have this that I've been wanting to try in a video. This is beautiful. Oh, this is the unseen one. I thought this was the glow one. There's a glow one. This is the unseen sunscreen. This is the one I don't like because it has a velvet soft finish. I'm venturing. Let me just stop. I'm going to give this away. I'll put it in the giveaway. All right, let's see. So we got Prima. I mean, I'm going to just film today. I'm not going out per se. I don't need my makeup to last in any long fashion. So I guess I can do this hydrate and stuff today yeah today's a good day to do that i'm wiping off my gloss to apply my lip primer and then start on the face now if you saw my last video or maybe that video is not up yet i don't know i got the mac prep and prime back again because elf is playing games so mac prep and prime lip here we go this is so nostalgic i used to use this all the time when i worked at mac as a freelance artist and Alrighty. You might be really surprised to hear this, but I've never used the Hydro Grip by Milk ever because it's hydrating. And I ain't into that. I don't like all that, but wow, this is a big one. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is a setting spray. I'm like, since when is this thing a liquid? It's the Milk Hydro Grip Grip Set Refresh Spray. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I do have the primer. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get it. Okay. So this is gonna be hemp derived cannabis seed extract. We ain't getting high, okay? First of all, we just, you know, there's, there's no THC up in here. Hyaluronic acid to help hydrate and refresh for blissed out skin. Shake it to activate. A shot of blue agave extract forms an invisible layer to grip and set makeup all day. Fantastic. Okay, so I will use that at the end. I do have a new hydro grip primer. Let me keep this as a giveaway. Now I got two giveaway items right here. All right, yeah, this one I had already opened. So here we are with the Milk Hydro Grip. Interesting. This is the jelly. Back of the hand right now. Little ASMR. Here we go. I don't know. Do I apply this with a brush? <laughs> I never do that. So let me just use my hands. Okay, let's see how this feels. Is it gonna go over my face? See, this is what I don't do. I don't prime all over my face, but if it's hydrating, my assumption is it should go all over the face. I mean, ideally, see, this is mixing in with my products already. That's why it looks white. Ideally, you prime only where you need it. Now, because this is hydrating and I don't want to be hydrated, I'm going to prime my whole face so that my whole face is hydrated, right? I don't want just my T-zone to be hydrated. I don't want just the outside of my face to be hydrated. Let's just do all of it, okay? It's got a little bit of tackiness to it. This is interesting. I'm just doing this because I've done my skincare, including SPF, and we don't want this to look wild. Now, do we? <gasps> Shoot. I'm trying a new foundation. I should have swatched it to make sure it fits me first before I put my primer on. I always forget. Oh, if the foundation I'm using doesn't work, it's gonna end up wiping off my primer when I take it off. Annoying. Although I think this will work. This looks neutral, looks dark enough. We're gonna lighten anyway, so let's do it. This is Cocoa Bean. On the back of the hand though, I can tell if it's gonna work or not. Ooh. 
This is dark <laughs> in a good way. But let's see the coverage on this because it might actually work if it's not gonna be that pigmented. All right, so looking this up right now, we have two, four, six, eight shades at Target. It's sheer buildable coverage in eight inclusive shades. It's moisturizing with rose water, hyaluronic acid, cucumber extract, oil free. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is oil free. Wait, oil free, but it has, okay. Hyaluronic acid is hydration, water. And this is oil free. You know, water and oil are different. Okay, all right, I get it. I just had to think about it really fast. All right, it's clean and it's vegan. This is a flat kabuki brush from Sigma. The number is F80. This came in a set some time ago. All right, if it's sheer, then this, oh yeah. Oh, I like this color. Yeah, this is nice and neutral. It's dark, but it's the way that I like it. Wow, it's definitely, okay, yeah. The coverage is light, but you can get more out of it by patting it, pouncing it like this instead of wiping it. You wipe it, you're gonna get streaks. But yeah, I mean, this is giving me medium, like medium light coverage. Cause I can still see my blemishes, but it looks good. But you know what though? Just like the skin tint, once you put your powder foundation on top or your face powder on top, you know how I do it. The coverage ends up building up. It, it ends up all coming together, like legit. I'm taking some more on the back of my hand. Let me find out. Again, it has SPF in it, but don't don't be thinking you're gonna just put this on and then be protected from the sun. No, ma'am, 11 is not enough. Absolutely not. You wanna have a minimum of 30 on your face. 50 is good or higher. Oh, my nose, I, that always happens. My nose is missing a spot or two. This is very neutral, nice and dark. Look at my nose. It looks like I, because my nose isn't done, like it's missing. I'm also missing a spot right here. Do you see that? What's going on? Should I use something different? I don't use sponges to apply my foundation now. Maybe we need more. The skin looks good, okay? The skin is looking very dewy. Now, okay, check this out. You know how with something like this, I could see this without it being this dark. I like it this dark because when I highlight and I do my whole face, it'll all come together. But if I had a color that matched me more perfectly, I could see putting this on with nothing else. But to me, unless my face is fully done, I'll forget that I have on makeup and I'll touch my face and then touch something else and it transfers, it's annoying. So I, you just not gonna catch me dead in just this by itself. But does this look beautiful? Yeah, I can see wearing this by itself if you just wanted to look a little more even, nice and dewy and fresh and put together Together. If you had brows, if you had full brows and you know, do a little lip gloss and you good to go. This is Gorgerama. I'm not gonna go on my eyelids because this is dewy. So I don't want my eyelids to be oily. All right, now Ilya sent me some concealers. The first one I have right here in my hand, the color is Birch and this is their True Skin Serum Concealer. So online, this is a creamy ultra lightweight. Oh God, ultra lightweight, hold on. <laughs> I wanna see the color like pay off. <laughs> but if you like ultra lightweight, this gonna be for you. Ultra lightweight serum concealer evens and brightens the look of skin over time with vitamin C. Okay, so this is a skincare product, skincare makeup combination plate. It's a natural finish, coverage is medium, but also says satin finish. So which one is it? Natural satin? Are, the, are we, are those the same thing? <laughs> Alrighty then. I think it's gonna be a nice warm looking beige color. Look at a little beige. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see. Do we have something warmer to offset this a little bit? <laughs> Taking my sponge, which I've soaked, and then I'm squeezing out the remaining moisture in it. Let's blend this and see just how sheer she is. Oh wow, this thing is like disappearing. It's doing a disappearing act, but that's the whole purpose. There's too much white in it. I need some warmth. The finish is gorgeous because just look at how dewy it is. It looks satin, just like they said. It's just that it is too beige for me. It's not the right undertone, but this looks nice. But as you can see, what I'm doing is just showing you how to make this work. We're gonna make this work. I loved it. Someone commented and said, I love how you show us how to make things work, even if you don't like it. And it's like, you know what? Okay, I appreciate that. Rather than me washing this off, canceling the video, I'm gonna just show you how to make it work. Because let's say you went and picked out a concealer that you could have swapped and down was your shade and <laughs> you put it on and you look like this. Oh, I want to show you how to make it work. You know, you're going to have to have options at home, obvi. And those options might come because you've made a few mistakes in what you've purchased. And then you just have an assortment of things at home. I'm going to show you how to fix this. This is light on the white side. 
Well, it's going to be a giveaway, but to family that don't mind that I've used it. <laughs> you can see this on camera, but in person, it just looks like what is happening. When I do my powder foundation, I'm going to really layer it on so that can give me more coverage. I just want more coverage. When I do my foundation, I like to be full coverage. Like, what am I doing this for? What's the reason? I'd rather just have no makeup on than to put on something with light coverage and then leave it light coverage. I, I'd rather just have nothing on. I'm not talking with that too. Ooh, we looking real white. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. I see the highlight, you know, it's just in person giving gray because it's white. Now we go on contour. You know what? Let me stick with something I already have just to keep this boat rolling. This is Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Bronzer. Is it Cheeks Out Freestyle? All right. And this is the color Toffee Tees. Looking good already. Mm -hmm. You would think I was hurting myself with how hard I'm pushing this in. <laughs> All right, it's coming together. We looking real greasy and stuff. This is unusual, you know, but it's working right now for the, for the cause, for the reason why we're here. This looks like a light contour to me. What do you think? <laughs> is the contour light? Comment and let me know. What do you think about this contour? Mm. Hi, geez, yo, with these nails, listen, life is just a little bit more challenging. Although I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying the nails. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation. <laughs> You know, I'm here working. Like what? The nails just make me feel like I'm in costume. You see? Like I just feel like I'm on set somewhere with these nails. Taking off excess on the brush and doing the nose contour. Very important to me to do the nose contour. And I'm looking to the side. I'm looking at my mom, my monitors. If you watch my studio tour video, then you've already seen what I got going on around here. And if you watch my vlogs, you know what the set look like. It is a set, okay? This is a production. Hi, welcome. To set my highlighted areas, I want to knock out the beige look that I have going on right now with something more warm, more yellow. So I'm going to use Prime Beauty, keep makeup set and locked in place all day, locked in loose powder. Is that the whole title? I don't know why I just read all that, okay? This is the color Golden Gyal, okay? The Golden Gyal, I like it. I've used this one time and I was really into it. So I'm gonna use it right now, okay? And my hope is that this is gonna give me more color. So we are gonna see. I did have to put some into the cap of the container, okay? Taking this, same old, same old, baby. This is a soft blend, 60 brush. Listen, if you're confused by all these random brushes that I use, watch my Amazon video. It's about brushes. It's a, I used one makeup brush set from Amazon and then look the look was fire too so watch it if you just want to get one set to be able to do one full face otherwise would you make yeah you're gonna be buying all kinds of brushes from all kinds of places all right so I love how this is shaped taking some of the products tapping off the excess but before we do that you want to make sure you even out the product that is in your eye wrinkles listen the wrinkles are normal I don't know what is going to be able to happen to avoid that you know they're normal here we go setting this on setting this starting right here in the corner first where the wrinkles are i don't have many but i got some uh -huh. and then going out mm. this is looking a little strange because the coverage on the concealer is not full coverage like i normally wear when i used this the last time this setting powder it looked so good in the video i filmed yesterday I was using a full coverage concealer, obvi. But yeah, it looks a little better. I like this powder a lot. Comment and let me know what you think. I think it looks good. I'm just obviously much more close up. The look looks pretty. It's just different for me. Bear with me. Now setting the middle of the face. You really could just leave it. If you wanted to be very dewy, like let's say you were gonna wear this in the winter time and you just really wanted to be hydrated, sat and finished, fantastic senses of the world. That made no sense. Then you can leave your face dewy and just go about your day. With my skincare, I leave my face dewy. So do whatever floats your boat. I just don't wanna be like that. So I am gonna set everything down. You understand? Just a little bit. Oh, a little uneven. Oh my lord, just a little uneven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little unevenness. <laughs> We're gonna fix it with our face powder. Not to worry. Don't don't fret, my pet. It's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. 
So for face powder, I do have some from the lip bar, but they're not my summer face powders. They're gonna be too light. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna stick with my CoverGirl Deep Pool 3. This is a powder foundation, so it's, it is gonna give me some more coverage, all right? Complex Culta Plush Powder Brush. Taking some of this product, yeah. Starting at my chin area, because that's an important place to start. And then making my way under the eyes. It's already looking really good. What do you think? This is what I like. You can even even see more coverage for my chin. You see what I'm saying? This is how it was for the skin tint too. The Fenty one, East Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I was just like, oh, wait a minute. But this is my normal routine to do a powder foundation. I do this on everything. It don't matter if it's global or if it's a skin tint. And yeah, what is this? Is that hair? Is that hair? What is this right here? Wait, did my contour get all... Okay, so maybe my contour got a little funky and stuff, but I definitely see hair. <laughs> Not that facial hair is unusual, it's just that I'm shaved. So when I see the hair, it's like, wait, what is that? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. It looks a little better now. I don't know if it was the contour that got a little pilly or what? That was strange. <laughs> strange things are happening around these parts. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I also do have this Sephora collection powder foundation. I picked this up and didn't realize the color is looking a little crazy. It is looking very peach. So I've been nervous to try it. This is looking way too peach. I've never used it. I'm gonna put it in the giveaway. One of y'all can make this work somehow. It is me. I don't know. Should I get no? Should I put it in the No. Should I? I'll keep it. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. And if it don't work, I'll put it in the box that I give to family that does not care. Now, let's see, are we gonna bronze? What are we gonna do? We want bronze, we won't leave it as a contour. Should we leave it a contour or should we bronze? What do you think? Comment and let me know. <laughs> By the time I see it, I will of course have already done what I've decided, but I still wanna know what you think. I love to hear about it. I love to read it. Thank you very, very much. Shout out to Hyacinth Carter, first of all. Would y'all like that? Would you feel appreciated if I shouted some of y'all out in, in, in the videos? I think that's fantastic. Hyacinth Carter, let me tell you right now. First of all, okay, there are a lot of you that stay supporting. So it's not just her. It's just, I can't think of anyone else's name, but hers. Alexis Merriweather? It ain't Mayweather. Is it Mayweather? My God today. Is it Alexis? You're watching the video. You know if it's you or not. Is it Alexis? Alexa. Mayweather. What? I didn't. Answer the question. No. I... <laughs> what? No. 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 No, Alexa, stop. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. You can watch me do them and laugh or like whatever. And then we're gonna continue. Okay, what was that? We're gonna continue. Yeah, that. <laughs> All right, in yesterday's video, I used the BFF palette from BH Cosmetics. I like it a lot, so I'm gonna use it again today, okay? All righty, we're gonna do a halo eye today just because it's easy, <laughs> all right? I'm using Scorpio right now in my crease. I'm going light-handed with this, tapping off the excess, which is very important, stretching my forehead to isolate out my crease, which is right between the brow bone and the eyelid, right there. When you're in the crease, I like to fan in to the brow bone. That's why it's important for the brow bone highlight to be set. Otherwise, it just looks crazy. So same on this side. Windshield wiper motions starting right here in the middle and making my way toward the front and the end. And then lightly blending this harsh line. This is my transition color. I always do all of my eye looks with a transition color. And then just so that this isn't harsh, powder brush with no extra powder on it. There's always gonna be extra product still left over. So I'm gonna do that. Let's keep it brown, OOTD, okay? I'm doing a bright lip today, something a little different. So this is OOTD, it's a deep brown color here in the palette. Putting it on the outer part of my eye. So I was wiping it as you saw and then patting it now. We're gonna blend it. Right now it's more about the placement getting it where I want it to be, which is right here. Taking some, always tapping off the excess. Head is down, of course, to avoid the product falling on my face since my face is done. I haven't highlighted enough to do that still. 
Now with my fluffy brush again, this is, it's my Ray Ray number six. I took a little bit more of OOTD and now I'm gonna blend up here. Closing my eye a little bit to isolate the crease and blending lightly. Adding more product right here in the front of my eye, which is where I really want it to be intensified. It's not enough right now, but it will be very soon. I'm gonna blend in with that Scorpio color, make it look more of a ombre, basically. Give it more of a gradient. That's just how I do my eyeshadow. Okay. And I'm wiping the brush onto my paper towel in front of me and now blending this so that nothing is harsh. Do you see that? Then we're gonna isolate the middle of this in a second. It's okay that it's closed this way. It's enough, we're gonna isolate that. All right, all right, all right. So for the middle of my eye, right, that strip, I'm torn. I think I wanna use Messy because it goes good with brown. So I'm not torn, I'll use Messy. So I have some on my finger and I have to go this way because of my nails, but ideally, I can do this actually. Okay, I can still do that. Oh, look at that. This is difficult. <laughs> these long nails. I want to open up the eye by making this go taller and just a little bit wide. That to me is pretty narrow. I want to open it up more. Even if you were to do it subtle like this, that looks actually really pretty. <laughs> but I've already done this, so I need to match it. See how my eyes just look different? I'm going to blend that and fix it too, don't worry. This is the brush that I was using in the crease. Just taking that to essentially dust off some of this extra shimmer slash blend it, you see? So that it doesn't look so messy right there. And then my clean finger to smooth out these lines here so that it doesn't look too harsh. I can't, I'm wiping off my brows. Okay, let me use the brush. Wiping it off and here. It is in place and this is gonna be what it's gonna be. I think it looks good. I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm going to do powdered and eyeshadow on my top line as an eyeliner mascara. I'm gonna do my lashes, the inner eye tear duct. to bring all this down, I'll let you see it, but we're gonna speed through all of that, okay? All right, and in my inner eye tear duct, I'm going to use, let's see, let me use the color Gleam. First of all, the skin is looking very dewy. I know you're gonna say you love it. I actually have to say, I do like it too. It, uh, <laughs> I'm getting more dewy around my nose, more than I would like. I know I'm gonna blot soon, but I have to say that I am enjoying this. Okay, fine, I'm enjoying it. This is Charmed by Koki Cosmetics. I think it's gonna need a liner, you heard? Ooh, wow. You know I don't be doing lips like this, but this one is pretty vibrant and neon. I'm gonna do this one today. I had to swatch it first so that I can figure out what blush I'm gonna use. Listen, just to keep things simple, since my lip is gonna be so loud, I'm going to just use my Old Faithful blush, which is always spicy from Elf Cosmetics. Hello. Alrighty then. Now, let's see this lip. I'm gonna line my Old Faithful. Okay, the Lip Bar Savage because it's like a burgundy. And let's see how that mixes with this lip. Oh man, I hope it doesn't kill it. But I need something down. That color is bright. All right, Koki Cosmetics Lip Poudre. <laughs> it's a liquid lip, liquid, no, lip liquid matte powder in the color Charmed. Here we go. It's looking like pink on the camera, but this is more purple for sure in person. It's not giving me the pigment that I need though. See the middle? I can see my lips. Okay, let's dry this and see what happens. The good thing is that when I blot like that, it's not coming off. I can see why it's called a lip powder. I don't know that I like the powder aspect of it. I'm sure you're gonna say, that lip looks so good. It does look good on the camera. It does look good in person, except I can still see my lip. And you know me, if I have on a lip product, I don't wanna see my lip, my two-toned lips underneath at all. That's the point. I like full coverage makeup and full coverage lips. But here we are. 
And I want you to comment and let me know what part of this look you loved. If you plan on recreating it, would you wear this and wear two? And if there are any products that I used that you like, especially the lip bar skin tint, let a girl know. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you are subscribed. That is very important. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. All right. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.